Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss some of the alternative roofing system which are used in cost effective building technologies. So, what let us know about what are all the different types of alternative materials which are used in cost effective building technologies are there are two alternative materials which are used in these cost effective building construction that are filler slab and another one is composite beam panel roof that is one is filler slab another one is composite beam and panel roof. So, these are the two alternative materials which are used in alternative roofing system. So, before going to see one by one, let us know about what do you mean by slab, ok. So, slab is an structural member made up of concrete which forms a horizontal flat surface for flooring and also roof deck and ceiling. So, there are two types of slab, one is one way slab, another one is two way slab. So, in one way slab, the ratio of longest span to the shortest span will be greater than 2 and also in one way slab, the main reinforcement which is provided in only one direction that is in short span. So, there are two types of slabs. So, while coming to the slab, there are two types. One is one way slab, another one is two way slab. So, while coming to the one way slab, the ratio of longer span that is Ly to the ratio of shorter span Lx will be greater than 2. And also in one way slab, the main reinforcement is provided in only one direction that is in shorter span. So, in two way slab, the ratio of longer span to the shorter span that is Ly by Lx will be less than 2. And also in two way slab, the main reinforcement which is provided in both the direction. So, wherever the span of the slab is required more, in that cases we will prefer two way slab. So, less, for lesser span we will prefer one way slab, ok. Let us come to the alternative roofing system that is filler slab. So, what do you mean by filler slab? So, filler slab is a filler slab or filler slab roof is a solid reinforced concrete slab with a filler material in the tension zone. So, let us consider this is a slab, this is a compression zone and this is a tension zone. So, the only difference between these filler slab and reinforced concrete slab is the filler slab which consists of filler material in the tension zone that is at the bottom of the slab is called tension zone. This is compression zone. So, while standing here by seeing EBO, so what we can able to see the EBO over head is that is tension zone of the roof or tension zone of the slab. So, that tension zone of the slab consists of filler material. So, that is called as filler slab. So, filler slab is a solid reinforced concrete slab which consists of filler material at the tension zone that is at the bottom of the slab. This is called as filler slab. Then, the filler material which are used in these filler slab are locally available and it is cheaper that means less cost and also lightweight. So, then what are the different types of filler materials used in filler slab? So, the different types of filler material. 
used different types of filler materials used or one first one brick or brick panel brick or brick panel then mangalore tiles mangalore tiles and then stabilized stabilized mud blocks then concrete waste concrete waste then clay pot clay pots and glass bottles these are the some of the filler materials which are used in filler slab so the size and shape of these filler materials mainly depends on thickness of the slab reinforce spacing of the reinforcement bar and also ceiling finish so by considering these three factors that is thickness of the slab spacing of the reinforcement bars and ceiling finish we will carefully select the filler materials okay so the amount of concrete or the quantity of concrete in the tension zone in the tension zone of the slab is replaced by these filler materials so for example for 125 mm for 125 mm thick reinforced concrete slab so for 125 mm thick conventional reinforced cement concrete slab 60 to 70 mm thick thick filler material or filler block can be easily accommodated so for 125 mm thick reinforced cement concrete slab 60 to 70 mm thick filler block or filler material can be easily accommodated so while using stabilized mud blocks as a filler material so using stabilized mud block smb is nothing but stabilized mud blocks is used as a filler material so it can replace 25% of the concrete so stabilized mud block will replace 25% of the concrete so this will cost this will cost cost 1/3 of the 1/3 of the cost of the concrete so this will cost 1/3 of the cost of the concrete this means so 15 to 20% of the cost of the concrete will be reduced by using these filler materials as a roofing system okay let us see the cross section of the filler filler slab roof let us see the cross section of the filler slab so this is the cross section of filler slab roof so the filler material which is used is stabilized mud block smb is nothing but the stabilized mud blocks the figure shows the cross section of the filler slab roof so 
while we will take a cross section of the filler slab it will looks like this so these are all the filler materials here we are using filler material as stabilized mud blocks then reinforcement bars are provided in the spacing of the this filler material and also concrete will be poured in a spacing of the filler material and also above the filler material so this is how the cross section of the filler material looks so let us come to the construction of filler slab roof so in construction of filler slab roof let us see the figure let us assume this is a filler slab let us assume this is a filler slab so the filler materials are placed so what i am placing is the reinforcement bars in a concrete bands so this width will be 300 mm so all the four sides there will be a concrete band so while coming to the construction of filler slab roof let us assume this is a filler slab so shuttering for the slab is erected as similar to the conventional reinforced cement concrete slab so for all the slab work the shuttering is mandatory so shuttering means it's a temporary mold which are used to hold the wet concrete until the concrete get sets and cured so different types of shutterings are used depending upon the work so some of the types of shutterings used are plywood shuttering timber shuttering and also steel shutterings so the shutterings are provided in a structural member before going to place a concrete in order to hold the concrete wet concrete until the concrete get set and cured so after placing a shuttering the bottom cover of 15 mm so this is a cover of 15 mm is placed and by using a steel reinforcement the grid is formed so by using a steel reinforcement the grids are formed so in between the each grids the filler materials are placed so the steel reen by using steel reinforcement the grids are formed at each grids the filler materials filler materials are placed centrally in each grids so this is h portion of the slab so along the h portion of the slab no filler materials are placed because this is a band of concrete along the edges of the along the edges of the slab that is called as concrete concrete band so no filler materials are placed in the concrete bands only the filler materials are placed in between the each reinforcement grids okay after placing the each filler materials exactly to center of the each grids so at the spacing of the each filler material the electric wires are placed so what are the spacing are provided in between the each filler materials in that places we will or we can place the electric wires so electric wires are placed in between the spacing of the each filler materials after placing everything filler materials distribution bars and also electric wires the concrete will be placed in between the spacing of the filler materials and also at the top of the filler material so firstly we will place the concrete at the banks of the concrete 
that means at the edges all the four edges are firstly filled by concrete later the concrete will be placed in between these filler materials finally the concrete will be placed above or at the top of the entire filler material the entire filler material means in order to achieve the thickness of the slab or the thickness we are considering while designing the thickness we have to achieve that's why we are complete the entire slab by concrete okay here the vibrators are avoided okay so here the vibrators are avoided because it will disturb the filler material which are placed that's why we are preferring manual tamping in the filler slab construction okay this is about the construction process of filler slab after placing whenever the slab get or whenever the concrete in the slab get set later shuttering will be removed so the removal of shuttering for slab depends on depends on the span of the slab so it is the removal time for shuttering for the slab work is 7 days and also for 14 days so after completion of entire concrete work the slab is cured for 7 days or 14 days the water curing will be done after 7 days or 14 days the shuttering will be removed so after 7 days the shuttering will be removed for only shorter span removed for shorter span that means the clear span should be less than 4.5 meter after 14 days the shuttering will be removed for longer span that is the clear span will be more than 4.5 meter so after 7 or 14 days curing the shuttering will be removed depending upon the span of the slab okay this is about the construction process of filler slab so let us observe in the slide you get to know that how the filler materials are placed in between each grids that is in the figure and also you will get to know that how the tamping manual tamping will be done in a filler slab instead of using vibrators finally the outlook finally entire finishing after the finishing of the filler slab how it looks like it will be seen in the slide okay this is about the filler slab then what are all the advantages of using this filler slab so by using these filler slab by using these filler slab the material cost will be reduced since it is locally available and it also reduce the concrete cost it will reduce the concrete cost that is 2015 to 20% of the concrete cost will be reduced by using these filler materials since the concrete cost or the amount of concrete will be reduced the weight or self weight of the material will be reduced since the slab is lighter lightweight and also economical or eco friendly slab we will get a eco friendly slab by using this filler material and also it provide thermal insulation for the building entirely the it will be a environmental friendly and cost effective method for alternative for the roofing system so the another alternative which is used for roofing system is the composite beam and panel roof so let us see what is composite beam and panel roof and the construction process of this composite beam and panel roof so composite beam and panel roof is a system where the beam and panels are prefabricated and then assembled with a roofing system with a minimum form work without using the heavy equipments so the composite beam and panel roof is a system where 
the beams and panels are prefabricated and assembled with a roof using minimum form work without using the heavy equipments. So, the roofing system is done by using the composite action of both beam and panel or the what are all the beams and panels are used to form a roof it will behaves like a T beam. So, it is a beam above this beam we will place the panels so it will behaves like a T beam. So, let us see the concept of these composite beam and panel roof how the construction process are takes place. So, the beam and panels both are casted before going to place it in a roof system. So, individually the beams and panels are casted separately. So, firstly let us see how the beams are casted. So, the rectangular RC beam of required dimension is casted and also the shear connectors are provided to this beam and then it will be cured. So, let us observe in the figure it shows the rectangular RC beam with shear connectors or stirrups. So, in beam the shear connectors are provided. So, the purpose of providing these shear connector is to achieve a composite action with a concrete and this shear connector will also hold the panel or this shear connectors will hold the member which is placed above it. So, the shear connectors which is provided in the beam will hold the panel which is placed above the beam. Hence, the composite action will be takes place. So, that is the purpose of using shear connectors or stirrups in a beams. So, these stirrups will also hold the reinforcement. So, the beam is casted separately and then the panels also casted separately. So, depending upon the shape of the roof, it will be classified into two types. The roofing system will be classified into two types that is flat panel roof and also the curved panel roofs or it also called as jack arch panel roof. So, roofing system is classified into two types. that is flat panel roof and also the curved panel or jack arch panel roof. So, in flat panel roof the panels are in flat shape but in curved panel roof the panels are curved in shape. So, both the panels are casted separately. Let us see how the casting process will be takes place of these two panels. Let us come to the first one flat panel roof. In a flat panel roof let us observe in the figure it shows the casting of flat panel roof by using a brick or tiles. So, the for casting the flat panel roof first we will place the reinforcement bars or wires in a flat position. So, the required size of the reinforcement bar or wire is placed in a ground and then above this reinforcement bars the bricks or 
styles are placed so let us observe in the figure it shows the placing of bricks or tiles above the reinforcement bar or wires steel wire so after placing the brick or tiles it will be joined by using a mortar so these bricks or tiles which are used in as a panel jointed by using a mortar which is similar to the brick masonry work so after jointing it will be cured for some time this is the casting process of flat panel then coming to the curved panels in curved panels the reinforcement rods or the steel wires which we will placed should be in the curved shape so the steel wires are placed according to the curved shape so above this curved shape steel wires the panels that means the brick or tiles are placed so these bricks or tiles are also jointed by using a mortar so this is how the casting of curved panel will takes place and also it will also kept for curing so both flat panels and curved panel are casted separately so this is one of the way of casting the panels before going to place it in a roofing system so the there will be another way of casting these panels that is the panels are casted above the beams also so the panels are also directly placed above the beam and also at there it will be casted jointed by using a masonry so let us observe in the figure it shows the cross section of both flat panel roof and curved panel roof so in flat panel roof the panels are in flat shape so in curved panel roof the panels are in curved shape and also in a beam the shear connectors are provided this is how the exactly the panel roof look so the another way of casting these panel roof is first the beams are casted and then it will be cured with a required dimension after casting the beam above the beam the temporary props are provided so let us observe in the figure it shows the curved panel roof or also called as jack arch panel roof so first we will cast the beam as i already told you the casting of beam so the beam is already casted so the beam is placed above the required spanning that is above the columns with the required spacing the beam is placed above the column after placing the beam so above the beam we will place a temporary props above these temporary props in order to create a panel of brick we will place a steel wires of required diameter above the wires we will place the bricks and these bricks are joined by using a cement mortar in order to create a bond between the brick and cement it will be constructed as similar to the masonry work after jointed by using a cement mortar cement mortar above this panel we will spread a screed concrete so above these panels above these brickwork we will spread the screed 
concrete. The purpose of using screed concrete is a it's a thin layer in order to maintain the uniform surface, clear surface above these panels. So above these panels, the concrete is placed, and then it will be left for setting and then curing. So after setting. So these panels and the shear connectors which is provided in a beam will be grouted by using a concrete. After grouting it will be left for curing. So after these panels are cured and set, so after these panels are set and cured the jack or temporary props are removed within a within a short period of time it will be set and then it will be cured so no long duration of curing is required here so we can easily cure the panels and then after curing of these panels the temporary props which we are provided will be removed. So this is how the roofing system was done by using a composite beam and panel roof. So already the beam is casted separately and then it will be placed above this beam we will place a panel. After curing of panels we will remove the temporary props. So these beam and panels are behaves like a composite action in order to form a roofing system. So the entire roof is done by using these panels above the beam. So this is how the roofing system is done by using composite beam and also the panel. So the year we will use the panel is the brick. So the figure shows how the curved panel roof that means the roof is in the form of curved shape. So the curved panel roof is done by using temporary props and also these panels and beam. So what is the advantage of using these composite beam and panel roof instead of using reinforced cement slab roof. The purpose of using the shear connector is to hold the panels. So with the absence of these shear connectors what are the panels will place above the beam will just simply sit on the beam. So it will not get any bond or any connection with the beam without using shear connectors. So in order to create a connection between beam and panels. So what are the panels we will place above the beam. So in order to hold that panels the shear connectors are provided. So then what is the advantage of using these composite beam and panel roof rather than using the RC slab roof that is cement concrete slab roof. So these composite beam and panel roofs are casted separately since the beams are casted earlierly. It does not require any casting time and also curing time. So it's already cured, already casted, just the thing is we will place. So it does not require any casting period and also it will reduce the curing period also. It does not require much curing time. This is one of the advantage. Since we are using these composite materials, the beams and panels, these are all lighter material because the panels are lighter and also these composite beam and panel roof is more structurally efficient than the reinforced concrete slab roof. This is one of the advantage. Since the lighter weight, it is economical, the material cost will be reduced. 
since we are not using the concrete much concrete in a roofing here the amount of concrete will be reduced since it's a economical and also these composite panel roof are more structurally efficient since the weight of the member will be reduced and also by using these composite beam and panel roof we will complete our work within a few days so we can remove the temporary prop which we are provided within a short period of time it does not require the form work which we are providing for the slab work reinforced concrete slab work what are the form work we will provide for the reinforced concrete slab is different from these composite beam and panel roof so it does not require much time for setting and also the curing that's why we will remove the these temporary props or form work within a short period of time so it will also reduce the material cost so overall intention is the environmental friendly and cost effective since we are using brick here it is a environmental friendly building material so it does not emit any greenhouse gases or carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and also the amount of concrete will also reduce and also the steel reinforcement is also reduced here so we will achieve the cost effective method by using this composite beam and panel roof so i hope you all understand so in this module we will study the alternative members which are used for roofing system as a cost effective and environmental friendly technology so the both pillar slab and also composite beam and panel roof is used for alternative for the roofing system so these both pillar slab and composite beam and panel roofs are environmental friendly and also the cost effective technologies okay thank you in the next session we will discuss the pre engineered buildings in a cost effective and environmental friendly technologies